everyone, it's Andrea and today we're going to do a book spotlight. We haven't done one for quite a while, so there's a few still on the list that I need to do. Um, so today's spotlight is going to be uh, the book Marilyn by Jay Harrison. Now I have two editions of this book. I have this really big version which came out in 1993 and I have this edition which came out in 1997 and in fact it does say the 35th anniversary edition. There was also another edition of this with this cover which had a free CD on it. Just for the purposes of this video I'm actually going to use this small, slightly smaller book because this one's really big and unwieldy. Other than the cover which have different pictures on it, they are identical and the images inside are identical. So I picked up my edition, which was the, the big edition, um, uh, in 1993 when I was at college. It doesn't have a dust jacket, it's just like a library binding. Whereas this version has the dust jacket on it and the nice shiny writing. If I take off the cover, it's exactly the same underneath the dust jacket. So on the inside we have some um, pictures of Marilyn that are all in a mono colour, so sort of red and creamy white. And in the a big version is certain, but they're sort of blue and white. So this book does contain a lot of photographs, which at the time of publication would have been, in some cases, quite rare. Not all of them, a lot of them are very, very common. All of them now are very common due to um, the internet and the easy way of getting hold of uh, images of Marilyn. So there's the contents page and this book contains chapters such as Who is Marilyn? What is she? That's an introduction. Breaking in, so about childhood and how she started her modelling career. The women in her life, which is literally that, the women in her life that are uh, women that um, were a part of her life. So people like Grace Goddard and Natasha Lytess, Paula Strasberg and so on. Skin and Beads, which is about costuming and her image. Uh, Taking It Seriously, which of course is about her wanting to be a serious actress and her studies. And then of course there's The Men in Her Life, which focuses on literally the men in her life. So Joe DiMaggio, James Doherty, um, Arthur Miller, uh, Lee Strasberg, there's a bit on Tony Curtis, Whitey Snyder and so on. And then after that we have a filmography and there's a selected bibliography at the back. So, the pictures are beautifully, beautifully rendered in this book. It's all very glossy pages. Um, and like I said, some of them at the time would have been quite rare, back in 92, but a lot of them, now they're not because we, we, we know them all. There's a picture of her hand and footprints and her crypt. And on this page we have a news headline and a cop at her grave. So as you can see, this book is mostly photographs. There's not a lot in the text. It's not a full on biography. If you want that, go read Michelle Morgan's book. Or, you know, Gary Vitico Rubles. His book is very good. His books are good as well. So, but if you want a photo book, this is really, really pretty. So, I mean, I can't remember now which books were, which pictures in this book were, were rare and which weren't, because it, it's such a long time ago. You can remember this came out in 1993, which is 24 years ago. This is it, the, the big edition. Um, there are, there are some really lovely photos in here. Um, yeah. And like I said, they are beautifully, beautifully produced. The pages are glossy. Um, there are obviously copies of her nude calendar pictures in here and things like that, which we won't go into. Film posters, magazine covers, lovely one of her at the March of Dimes. So they are lovely books. I don't know if this is still in print. 
if I can find a link for it on Amazon or something like that, I will put a link in the description box below for you to have a look at. So as you as you know on the, on the back of this one we've got that picture and that's also on the inside. So. So I love this picture of her and Jane Russell from the Jump for Blondes. I do love that picture, I'm not going to lie. Let's see what else we can find. Um, so some nice ones from Korea. So as you might guess, this is not actually in particularly chronological order. The pictures are all, are all over the place. And Arthur Miller, I like that picture. But there are pictures from throughout her career. There's some film stills in the filmography. That one I think was quite rare at the time. And that one there. So the books mentioned in the bibliography, if I can get through to it, sorry, the pages, that's good. It's been a long time since I've looked at this. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. No, mind. Our um, Marion by Norman Mailer. Her Life and Pictures by George Zeno and James Spada. Marion in Art, Roger G. Taylor. The Life and Death of Marion Moreau by Fred Lawrence Giles. Goddess, The Secret Life of Marion Moreau by Anthony Summers. The Marion Conspiracy by Milo Spiriglio. The Marilyn Scandal by Sandra Shive and The Unabridged Marilyn by Randall Reese and Neil Hitchin. So the, the, the bibliography only really goes up to the mid 80s, so 1987. You'll remember that this did of course come out in 92 originally for her the 20th anniversary. So the book in itself is only 192 pages long. It is a lovely edition to have. Like I said, I got this, the big version. And you can see how big that is compared to this one, if I put this one in front of it. And this is big, this is quite a big book. It's not, it's not a tiny book. If I get a normal sized book, um, which is uh, this one, just so you can see that this is a normal hardback book. So that's how, you can just see how big they are. They are quite big. I'm going to drop this one now because they're getting awkward and I've got them upside down, I know. So I like both editions. I like the pink cover and the gold writing on this one. I think it's really, really nice. The spine's faded because like I said, it's over 20 years old. I've had it a long time. But this one's a little bit more manageable if you want to actually read it. Because it is just that little bit smaller. So that is Marilyn by J. Harrison. Like I said, if I can find it, if it's still in print, or I can find a link to somebody who's selling it, I'll put one down in the description box below. So I know these are sporadic, we only have them every now and again. I don't just focus on Marilyn books, I will be doing another book spotlight shortly and, and another couple of books I have on a different person. Um, but I will be um, doing more Marilyn book spotlights fairly shortly. I do have a list of books that were requested to be spotlighted, so that's why I'm doing this one, this one was requested. Um, if you've watched my Marilyn book haul or my Marilyn bookshelf tour and there's a book you want spotlighted, please let me know. Um, on the Marilyn bookshelf tour one, there is a list that somebody posted of books they want to spotlight, so don't mention those because I know about those. Any of the other books, if you want them spotlighted, please let me know and I will happily, happily do one for you. Um, yeah, I've been watching lots of Marilyn videos on YouTube recently of people's collections and that's made me want to get out and share mine more. Uh, with you. So that is Marilyn by Jane Harrison. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope it's given you a nice overview of the book so if you actually want to go out and get it you can or maybe it's made you think well actually no I don't want to go out and get it. I'd rather save up for something else. So that's all for me for this book spotlight and I will see you soon. Bye!